Hello everyone, this is Apoorva Chan from IIPS DAVV and I am presenting a video lecture on sequence alignment and dynamic programming. Sequence alignment and dynamic programming Sequence alignment is a way of arranging the segments of DNA, RNA or protein to identify reasons of similarity that may be a consequence of functional or structural or evolutionary relationship between the sequences. We are going to see different algorithm and their time complexity and space complexity that will select the optimal one. So here the problem is a sequence alignment. The input is two or more strings of character and the output is the optimal alignment of the input strings possibly including gaps and an alignment score as you can see in the example here. Biological sequence alignment. Here the input is a DNA or an amino acid sequence and the output is an optimal alignment. For example, here is one DNA or amino acid sequence for which this is the given output and here the score is plus 8. Now we will discuss about the deletions. Deletions are of two types, codon deletion and frameshift mutation. The first one that is the codon deletion the effect depends on the protein, position, etc. It is almost always deleterious and sometimes it is lethal, but the frame shift mutation is almost always lethal. Comparing two genes is generally impossible to tell if an indel is an insertion in one gene or a deletion in another unless ancestry is known. Here in the following figure is the genetic code Substitutions are mutations accepted by natural selection. Synonymous CGC gives CGA and non-synonymous GAU gives GAA. Scoring a sequence alignment for a mismatch score it is plus 0, for a match score it is plus 1. For gap penalty the score is minus 1. Matches leads to 18 cross plus 1, mismatches leads to 2 cross 0. Gaps leads to 7 cross minus 1 that will give you a total score of plus 11. This is again a sequence alignment scoring for example number 2. Now optimal substructure in alignment consider the following alignment. Is it true that alignment in the box region must be optimal? For this, we will calculate various space complexity and time complexity of algorithms. Space complexity is the way in which the amount of storage space required by an algorithm varies with the size of problem it is solving. It is normally expressed as order of magnitude. For example, order of n square that is if the size of the problem n doubles then 4 times as much working storage will be needed. Time complexity is the number of steps involved in a solution to solve a problem that is a function of the size of the problem measure of that time's complexity. It is the number of machine instructions which a program executes during its running time that is called time complexity. We will discuss various strategies and the first one is the greedy strategy. We are considering the pair of sequences GAGC and CAGC. According to greedy approach, following is the alignment, here gap is minus 1, match is plus 1 and mismatch is minus 2. That leads to GACG and CAGC. Now breaking apart the problem, suppose we are aligning ACTCG, ACAGTAG. According to the first position choices, for a plus 1 it is CTCG. C A G T A G for minus 1 it is C T C G A C A G T A G and for a third choice it is again minus 1 and it is A C T C G C A G T A G. Now second one is a recursive approach to alignment. We are going to choose the best alignment based on the three possibilities. We will align the sequence 1 and sequence 2. If both sequences are empty then the function will return 0. If one string is empty then return gap score that is multiplied by the number of characters in the norm empty sequence else we will return score 1 and that is the score of first character sequence 
first character of sequence 2 plus alignment of tail of sequence 1 and tail of sequence 2. Similarly, we will calculate for score 2 and score 3 and we will return the minimum of this algorithm will return the minimum of the score 1, score 2 and score 3. Now time complexity of recursive alignment. Here it is t of n that is a function of 3 t n minus 1 plus 3 and it will increase in the order of 3, 9, 27 up to 3 raised to the power n. Now how can we find an optimal alignment? Finding the alignment is computationally hard. For example, at the position of 27.7, gap positions are approximately 8,88,000 possibilities. So it's possible as long as we don't need to repeat our work. Now dynamic programming is another approach by which we can calculate the optimal alignment for DNA sequences and here we are going to look for the Needleman and Walsh algorithm. Needle, for Needleman and Walsh algorithm, step 1 is each sequence along one axis, mismatch penalty multiplies in first row or column, 0 and 1 and 1. For vertical horizontal move, score plus simple gap penalty. For diagonal move, score plus match and mismatch score. Take the maximum of three possibilities. We can similarly find out the table and we will complete the table likewise. The optimal alignment score is calculated in the lower right corner. To reconstruct the optimal alignment, we must determine of where the maximum at each step came from. A downward arrow is a gap in top sequence, a forward arrow is a gap in left sequence, a di diagonal arrow is the alignment of both positions. Here the score is plus 2 for the given example. Now the semi-global alignment. The semi-global alignment allows gap at the ends for free. It in initializes first row and column to all zeros and allow free horizontal and vertical moves in last row and column. Local alignment. Like global alignment, it scores the entire alignment. Semi-global alignment allow unscored gaps at the beginning or end of either sequence. Local alignment find the best matching subsequence C, G, A, T, G and A, 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 T, G, C, A. This is achieved by the following by allowing a fourth alternative at each position in the table. This is the figure for the local alignment technique. Here the mismatch is minus 1 for the given example. Now saving space. Note that we can through away the previous rows of the table as we fill it in as discussed in the following table. Now the third technique is divide and conquer one. By using a recursive approach we can use only two rows of the matrix at a time. By this one choose the uh, for this one technique the choose the middle character of the top sequence i. Find out where i aligns to the bottom sequence needs two vectors of scores recursively align the sequence before and after the fixed position find out where i aligns to the bottom sequence this is the two dna sequence that is given assuming i lines up with a the character then align score is the alignment of the sequence plus prefix and score plus alignment of the sequence and suffix which character is best can quickly find out the score for aligning the given sequence with every prefix of t. But I may also line up with a gap. Assuming I lines up with a gap, then through the, the following formula we can calculate the alignment score. For a recursive call, fix the best position for i, call alignment recursively for the prefixes and the suffixes. The complexity we can calculate then here the length of s is equal to m that we consider and length of t is equal to n. The space is 2m so the time complexity comes out to be twice of mn. Suppose we are no longer using simple gap penalty now the origination is minus 2 and length is minus 1. Consider the last position of the alignment for the given sequence we can't determine the score for g. 
scoring blocks now we must score a block at a time a block is a pair of characters or a maximal group of gaps paired with characters to score a position we need to either start a new block or add it to a, the previous block the algorithm also include three tables a b and c a is the score for alignment ending in a character character block b is the score for alignment ending in gap in the top sequence and c is the score for alignment ending in gaps in the left sequence scores no longer depend on only three position because we can put any number of gaps into the last block this is the following recurrences that may occur the three possibilities at position a b and c for three scores a b and c the optimal alignment is found by looking at the maximal value in the lower right of all three arrays the algorithm runs in the order of n cube time and uses n square space so this is how we calculated the time complexity and space complexity of various dynamic algorithm for sequence alignment and we can calculate which one is the most effective one or the optimal one thank you